All right, everyone, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real in the sense that I didn't really have any sort of interest in this game when they announced it or they were talking about it. Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier is a mobile game, a battle royale of sorts that takes the Final Fantasy VII universe and plunges it into something like PUBG or Fortnite. And one of the main reasons I wasn't interested in it, not because it was a mobile game, I think it was the fact that I saw interviews with Tetsuya Nomura and stuff where he said that not a lot of story content was going to be in this game, not a lot of canonical things like stuff with the compilation or anything like that, but today at work I'm getting all these like messages and these images from friends where it's showing these returning characters, characters like Lucrezia and Hollander and things like that. So my reaction and my view of this game has changed a lot because there could be more to this game than I thought. Much more references to the older games in the compilation and that actually really piques my interest. I really want to check it out so let's check out the TGS trailer for Final Fantasy 7 The First Soldier. Right, what do we got here? 30 years. All right, they showed young President Shinra before. Project Zero, most elite fighting force. That's Hollander. All right, they got the Mako pits. That's Lucrezia. And there's Hojo. There's young Hojo. Young Blojo is in the game? Dude, these FMVs, dude, these are cool. The soldier characters look really cool, actually. Damn, could this run on... Could this run this well on a phone? It looks like it's running at about 20 frames. Oh, dude, motorcycle combat. See, I feel like this would be interesting if it wasn't, like, strictly multiplayer. If they have an offline story mode content, I would definitely check that out. So there's different classes you can play. Warrior, Monk, Sorcerer. A lot of... Yeah, a lot of these stages, man. This is just reused assets from Final Fantasy VII Remake. Here's Sector 5. Some of those moves seem similar, too. That was Dive Kick right there. Ninja, you got a Yuffie class? Damn, you can do like a FF15 warp. Why are the soldiers fighting the infantry? Is this a renegade soldier group? Damn, the sewers, the wasteland. Where is this? Is this like outside of Midgar? Dude, summons? Okay. Dude, those FMVs were really cool. Like, the, I, I've seen stuff about the gameplay. I've watched people play through the gameplay a little bit and stuff like that. But, dude, the FMVs were really sick. I really like the look of the soldier characters. It seems like they put a lot of work into it. And I kind of wonder what is going on with them fighting the Shinra troops, the Shinra Grenadiers, those guys in the green camo outfits. But yeah, the summons in the FMVs, the FMVs were cool. The gameplay looks kind of neat. If there's an offline mode, I'd love to check it out. I don't know how well I would do playing a mobile game like that online against people or how skilled I would be. But it, it does seem interesting and it does seem cool that there's like these returning characters to expand on the lore of Final Fantasy VII 30 years ago before the main story. So it seems like it's going against what Nomura is saying and there's actually a lot of cool stuff in there with the appearances of Hojo. And Hojo was neat the way they showed him in the trailer here. Can I get a, like a still shot here? Where's this still shot at? They were showing all these quick things. Look at this right here. This shot right here makes me think of Vincent. This is what happened with Vincent. Vincent was shot by Professor Hojo in the basement of Nibelheim. So I'm thinking to myself, are we gonna get like a little cameo from Vincent? It's wishful thinking, but it would be very intriguing, very cool if we saw something about Vincent because Vincent's story starts, uh, you know, the reference is his origin story as a Turk and his story starts about 30 years ago. Vincent's in his 50s during the main event of Final Fantasy VII in the compilation. So 
This would be very interesting. I feel like they're making a reference to it right here. I'm gonna be honest, I'm like 80% sure this is Vincent right now. So this seems actually pretty interesting. Yeah, I might I might have to try this out when it comes out to mobile because, you know, why not? It can't hurt. It'll probably be free too. I feel like it could be a free to play game. So very interesting, dude. I'm thinking I'm looking forward to this one too. Just watch the trailer on Stranger of Paradise. So not too bad, TGS. Not too bad. Some cool stuff there. But that's going to do it for the reaction, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please follow me on Twitter, on YouTube, and subscribe. I'm going to be playing games on Twitch tonight. I'll be playing the Stranger of Paradise demo or other subsequent FF playthroughs. I do that stuff all the time. You're more than welcome to join if you want to do that. And I'm going to sign off now, so thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.